Andy Staples, who now works for On3, did his 10 predictions for the upcoming college football season. Apparently, he was copying off of Josh's wish casting because his very first prediction was this will be the most electrifying college football season since 2007. Everyone's like, oh, man, I can't wait. I hope we have another 2000. Oh, here we go. Classic John doesn't like college football anymore. No, 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 no it's here not we that. Go. Here it, we go. It's not that. You think it's we're overhyping that. ourselves for this season? I think so. No, we are not. I think. Save it for Friday. This is a Friday debate. Embrace debate. It's debate. a 12-team playoff. It's going to be awesome. This season's going to rock. We'll see. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be bad. It's going to be awesome. I'm not going to oversell it and make it out to be the I'm underselling how great it's going to be. It's going to be the best season. No one has ever season, seen a season this good. It's going to be we're, awesome. We're going to be so excited. Oh, man, that 12th John team Lewis versus the 13th team. Oh, darn. I can't believe Boise State didn't get in. You watch college basketball. You are unable to criticize a sport that has a 12-team playoff for that reasoning. Get out of here with that criticism. Boo, boo, boo. You talk about Bart every five seconds during college basketball season. Bart's a, Bart's a decent guy, but I'm also a big oh, fan. So of now Bart's Bart only a it. decent guy. Wow, Bart interesting. Is a, oh, Bart, I he was your you hero. I would have cuddled up with you. You wanted Bart. to vote for him. The second prediction, five SEC teams will make the first college football playoff. Are you ready for that? Is that make you I excited? Asked, didn't I ask you that question recently, how likely that is to happen? That could definitely happen. It, that is very likely to happen. I'm Not gonna, very likely. I'm going to skip happen. number three because that's what the main point of this. Ooh, number four. Number four is stanky. What's number four, John? Colorado will make a bowl game. Andy Staples, you're drunk. Wow. Nasty. They did win four games last year. They won is, four games. Nebraska won five, and we're treating them like they're and, kings. And now they're going to be in a different league where there's, there's more probably – Dare I say a better depth of teams? Interesting. Than there were in the old Pac-12. Interesting. They Maybe. better lose that game in Lincoln. Uh, number five, Miami will play in the ACC title game. Boring. Fins up. Oh. Uh, not that Miami. <laughs> Fins up. Arch Manning will start at least one game for Texas, but Don't Quinn Ewers will remain QB1. Care. Thank you. But he's a Manning. That's a dynasty. He is a... Wow, Nick... Wow, one rule changes with the Supreme Court, and now Nick wants kings and dynasties. <laughs> this one I couldn't give two craps about, so I'm not even going to mention it because it has to do with an overrated trophy. I don't remember which one that was. What was it? It had to do with an overrated trophy. Okay. The uh, One that has way too many people voting on it and never goes to anyone who doesn't Oh, that trophy. Da, 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 da. Yeah, don't care. Uh, number eight. Ooh. Baylor's Dave Aranda will be this season's version of Neil Brown. For those who are like, who's Neil Brown, first of all? Who's Neil Brown? Bum, Coast bum, of bum. West Virginia was on the hot seat last year. They had a really good year. Yep. In including he won a man, the mayonnaise bowl, and he had mayonnaise dunked all over his body. He went really kind of deep here. Uh, number nine, the most productive tailback duo in the country, likely will be at Ohio State. Okay, this isn't even a prediction. I mean, yeah, it is. No, it's not. But don't count out a pair of transfers at Missouri. That's not a prediction. That's yeah. an observation. I guess that's true. Hard to argue with that. One more prediction at the end, though, before we get to the main. Liberty, 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 Liberty. will go undefeated, be, be left out of the college football playoff. Oh, oh boy. see, that's awesome. What a season, John. What a season. Well, oh, and then you know what will happen if that. If that wow. Happens? You want Liberty to fail. Nick, you want Liberty to succeed? Are you again? Yes, I want Liberty to succeed. Nick, I never thought Nick would be a fan of Jerry Fall. Are you against are you against these uh athletes being successful? No, they shouldn't have gone to that stupid school. Um mm -hmm. if that if that happened this year, the political take like that'd be pretty interesting. Hannity oh, would probably want, talk about you it. You want more of that crap? You're I'm not going to get enough of that crap. I'm just saying it would be interesting. You're not going to get enough of that crap? I'm not going to debate it with you. You want more? I'm not going to debate it with you. Did was oh, Liberty left out because they're a bunch of freaks? It. I'm not going to debate that with you. But people would debate it. Their head coach would go on Hannity's show. Clay Travis. This is a handshake meme for him. Oh, this would be great God. for him. Well, it's time because he's hungry. Yeah. Oh, no. Andy Stanton. Get off the pot. He's coming for you. His number three prediction, Andy Staples of On3.com. Nebraska will be 7-0 and entering the Ohio State game. Oh, my gosh. 
I like that he puts a qualifier right at the beginning. I get it. You're tired of us pumping sunshine <laughs> from Nebraska during the offseason only to watch the Huskers fail once the games begin. But you didn't get a lot of sunshine in this space last offseason. I was oh. also just as mystified as most of you and many of my media brethren picked Nebraska to win the Big Ten West in Scott Frost's second season. Well, people forget Scott Frost said they were going to be really dangerous in year two. People do forget, but you haven't because you have the column saved. I do have the column saved. Yeah. But as Staples writes, Matt Rule's second season does feel different. Different. <laughs> Oh, here we go. What, 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 what? First, we've got rules track record. We need to almost have a sounder every time we refer to year two under Matt Rule. Nick, you are of music. What okay. do you got for us for, for year, year two? two? Son of a preacher man. What does that have to do with it's anything? a song? It could be a he is the son of a preacher man. So that's that's actually not All bad. All right, let's play that, Nick. Every time we bring up e year every two. time we bring up year two under Matt Rule. Well, it happens every other year. Why not this one? Uh, second, the Big Ten has given Nebraska an absolute gift with this schedule. And then he, of course, mentions the teams they avoid. Mm. Despite all the excitement about freshman quarterback Dylan Rayola, coordinator Tony White's defense should be the star. This should allow Rayola time to develop without pressure on him to carry the Huskers to win. Besides the Buffaloes, who used some late first half Nebraska turnovers to spark a blowout win last season. A visit from Rutgers on October 5th could be a significant challenge. The Scarlet Knights should also be filthy on defense. That is a word we don't use enough these days. Filthy? filthy. Nasty. We say nasty, but not filthy. But not filthy. filthy. Yeah. Nasty. Filthy. And we might see the season's biggest rock fight that afternoon. Ooh, a rock fight you with Rutgers. You love rock fights. Why is it Nebraska? That's your king. Doesn't Nebraska always play <laughs> rock fights with the Rutgers? Kind of. Remember that game a couple years Friday ago? Friday game. Oh, boy. That yeah. was a rock fight and a half. Not great. But Nebraska should be favored in all seven of those games. They will be. So the bowl drop could be a memory by the time the Huskers go to Columbus. So there you go. The hype monster. Bad. Yeah. Seven and oh. Entering the Ohio State game. I made a meme, John. I made a meme. Maybe I'll 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 delete the part about the Nebraska will be seven and oh. And I, this will be a new meme template. So the hype monster is waiting for any good press. Does it, does the, doesn't the hype monster need a little Husker insignia on him? Just like a big N on the T-Rex's head? Or somewhere. All right, I'll uh, I'll work on it. That's a or good just, idea. Or just make the N in monster red. Make the M? The N in the N. monster Oh, that's an red. excellent idea. I'll work on that. That's a good idea, that's John. That's the Husker hype monster. Okay, I like, I like, what, you're, I like what you're cooking up here, John. Since I mean, that's not, a, a that's, not a, that's not a stretch for a prediction, but once again, the national media never lets me down. What? You never lets you, me down. You, I predicted this was coming. You did call this. You did call this. And Andy Staples has been around the sport for a while. He's been a friend of the Grum before, so it's not like it's, oh, that's just some random podcaster from random Kalamazoo. Podcast. No, no, Kalamazoo. No. I've been to Kalamazoo. This is a legit national media guy and he has fed the hype monster i hope old agnes is satisfied interesting with this feeding of the hype monster mm. and now let the panic begin what panic? Because a media member said something good. Oh, no, someone said something good. Oh, really I'm going to be afraid. Man, I, I mean, we've established we've gone through the different uh, people weren't scenarios. so damn afraid. I mean, Nebraska John. will be favored in the first seven. I mean, they are at least as of the moment, according to the power rankings, they are going to be favored in the first seven games of this Def year. That's not that's not incorrect. So, get used to it. Mm -hmm. That said, I still can't pull the trigger on. Well, if they start five and two, it's going to feel like a failure. Because that would still only put them one game away from being. But what if they lose the rest of their games, John? Then it'll be just like last year, and we can all slam our alarm clock when it says, Good morning, campers. It's Groundhog Day. We can all be Bill Murray and stuff our face full of powdered oh, donuts. Oh, what a movie. Nice reference. And dream of Andy McDowell. Well, I hope that they don't let you down because that'd be bad. I don't think they're going to let me down. I'm the first so. person to say I'm I'm feeling it this year. Yeah. 
I think they are going to win their eight, maybe, maybe even nine games. Maybe. Wow. I haven't settled on the exact prediction, but you are really playing both sides here. I think they're going to be good, but if they're not, you can't get mad at me. (laughs) Don't yell at me if they lose to Colorado in week two. No, no, no. I'm not saying don't yell at me. I'm just saying don't panic. Don't yell at Matt Rule. Just don't panic. I think we need to Please change. Please don't treat it like last year when half of you were jumping off the boat going, oh, my God, why did they ever fire Frost yeah. for this guy? Oh, all those people from Carolina were right. All those people I was huh? trolling all off season on the Red Sea Scrolls about how your franchise sucks and how Matt Rule's really not a bad guy. Now, all of a sudden, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. That's what I don't want. Because that was that was ridiculous. It was, was lunacy. That was absolute lunacy. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Absolute lunacy. All right, I finished making my meme. Good. I wonder what you think about it. So in, I'm sure it's in, oh, Do you want me to show it to you? I have to finish the end. Hype monster. Oh, that's very good. Isn't that fun? That's All right, good. cool. All right, cool. Very cool, cool. good. He right. used the he used the iron in. Yeah, the oh. one that they shouldn't have oh. as a as a logo. They should use the helmet one. But I, you said iron n. Yeah, yeah. Iron n. What did you think I said? Well, there's a lot of things that start with iron, John. <laughs>